वेलकम एवरी वन इन दिस वीडियो लेक्चर वी विल थिंक अबाउट द स्मॉल सिग्नल एनालिसिस ऑफ ए कॉमन सोर्स एम्पलीफायर सो दिस वन इज द वेरी बेसिक कॉमन सोर्स एम्पलीफायर सो द सर्किट इज दिस वन इज अवर मोस्ट फेट गेट ड्रेन सोर्स इंट वी आर गिविंग ए सिग्नल सोर्स थ्रू द गेट इंट एंड सम रेसिस्टेंस इज देयर आर सिग्नल ओके एंड आर इज द ड्रेन रेसिस्टेंस वी डिड इज सप्लाई एंड दिस वन इज द आउटपुट वी आर कलेक्टिंग फ्रॉम द वी नोट ओके सो वी हैव टू फाइंड द इनपुट इम्पिडेंस आउटपुट इम्पिडेंस देन आफ्टर ओपन सर्किट वोल्टेज गेन एंड ओवरऑल वोल्टेज गेन वेन ए लोड इज कनेक्टेड हेयर वी विल सो यू वेन सम लोड आर एल इज कनेक्टेड वट शुड बी द ओवरऑल गेन सो एज वी नो द वेरी फंडामेंटल थिंग दैट ए सिंपल मोस फेट कैन बी कन्वर्टेड इन टू हाइब्रिड पाई मॉडल सो दैट हाइब्रिड पाई मॉडल आई एम डायरेक्टली ड्रॉइंग ओके सो दिस पॉइंट दिस पॉइंट एंड दिस पॉइंट ओके सो बेसिकली दिस वन इज आवर गेट पॉइंट ड्रेन and we can say this is a source okay and one current source will be there this one is the current source okay and this current source is nothing but simply gm times of vgs and this voltage will be vgs okay so this one we have made the hybrid pi model for this transistor okay gate drain source the fundamental one then after for the ac analysis we have to make this as a ground vdd supply so when we are making this vdd as a ground this rd resistance is there connected to drain side okay so that rd will be come like this okay very fundamental okay so this one is our simply our rd will come and we are taking output from this side so we can make it v not in addition to that through the gate there is a resistance so better to put a resistance here okay one resistance is there and then after then after we have to make plus of minus okay plus of minus and this should be our v signal and this one is our r signal so now this one is the we can say the mosfet okay this one is the mosfet okay then the equivalent hybrid pi model will be this okay so and just okay then after rd is connected here okay r signal is there now this one is okay now in addition to that one can add one extra resistance that is our r not finite input resistance so we can also make a resistance that resistance is called our r not okay it will better to add now okay due to channel length modulation we have to put a r not okay so now this one is the circuit now we have to find the input impedance so for input impedance i am saying this one is our z in okay z in or one can write a r in input impedance so there is a no connection wire connection between gate to source so this one is a open kind of thing so there will be a infinite resistance infinite resistance will be observed across the common source amplifier because there will be always uh, almost zero current will flow okay so this will be almost zero current because here zero current will flow so this r in z input will be Simply this one. 
now for the output impedance okay now for the output impedance and this one we can also say some vi means this voltage is we are considering vi and vgs okay so this offers very high resistance okay this get to source so this voltage is same as that of v signal okay so v signal this vi is same as that of vgs and this will be v signal because there will be no current flowing through this one i of g i am writing in will be zero okay i am again highlighting this one this concept okay means vi equals to vgs because there will be no current okay no current in the gate due to high impedance so this should be the input impedance now for the output impedance calculation for the output impedance okay for the output impedance what we have to do z not we have to find as a output impedance or we can write it r not anything we can write when vgs equals to zero for output impedance this input voltage that's vi we have to make it zero okay so the output impedance is simply r not parallel with rd okay so we can simply write r not parallel with rd okay so input impedance output mm -hmm. impedance is clear now now we have to go for the output voltage so this one is the output voltage say plus of minus v not output voltage so what we can observe that this v not we have to find so this v not value we can write h minus gm vgs in bracket we can write r not parallel with rd okay because these for these two resistance for these two resistance we are saying these two resistance are in parallel so this one is z not okay so this resistance i am making one diagram here gm vgs okay and this one is somehow grounded okay and then after this resistance is our r not parallel with rd and this current is nothing but simply gm vgs yes or no or we can say some current like i not okay or we can say some current like id a drain current ac drain current that's why symbol as well as subscript is in that small letter okay and this voltage is our v not so basically what we are saying when the sister is there okay when the sister is there are not parallel with rd and this having zero volt grounded and this one is our v not and current is flowing like this like i not or id okay or this one is simply our gm vgs so we can easily write the i not value will be this potential higher zero minus v not okay because current is going like this r not parallel with rd so the v not value we can find simply the v not will be i not then r not parallel with rd and i not is nothing but simply gm vgs so i not and minus sign okay here minus sign is there so here better to put minus okay minus getting my point minus is there so if i put this side minus so minus gm vgs are not parallel with r negative sign will be there okay that's why i am writing v not equals to minus gm vgs are not by rd now when there is no lo uh, no load and vgs is same that of vi okay so open the voltage gain will be v not by vi that is our av equals to minus gm r not parallel with rd okay that is av is simply minus gm 
R D parallel node with R node or anything you can write. Okay, because V I is a data signal, so this one is the gain. Okay, because this one and this expression very simple. If you practice, it will be very simple. This one R not R D parallel G M V G S multiply with with negative sign. Okay, because here the current is going like this. The current is going like this I D. Okay. Or I not you can write anything G A B G S okay so like that we have also find the value of voltage gain okay and this voltage gain we can say the open open loop voltage gain clear so now next this we have find in addition to that what we can say this A B in some book you will find. When if we neglect the channel length modulation, R D will be removed. So minus G M R D simply. Okay. So this one is also an important digit. Now output resistance we have already find. Now we have to do for the overall overall output resistance. So if the overall output resistance for that purpose I am putting one load resistance R L here. Okay. So in this case very simply what we can do. The V naught will be simply minus G M V G S and what should be R naught parallel with R D parallel with R L. All the systems will be in the parallel. Then after the V naught by V G S is the overall gain G V is minus G M R naught parallel with R D parallel with. Rl. So this one is the overall gain. Okay. So this one is a very simple representation for every means a small signal analysis of this common source amplifier. So for the common source, well, within five ten minutes you can go through like this. Means this one is the circuit. Then we can find the input impedance, output impedance. Okay. So the overall gain with load, then the output resistance R not parallel with R D. Okay, if R L is there, we have to make it R not parallel with R D parallel with parallel with R L. Okay. So these are the some important observation for the input impedance, output impedance, and voltage gain. So as a summary, I am writing here. Summary for the common source amplifier, input impedance like R in is nearly infinity, and Z not the output resistance will be what R D parallel with R not. If load is there, you can make it R L. Okay, then the voltage gain goes to minus G M R D parallel with R not. If load is there, then overall we can say. Minus G M R D parallel with R not parallel with R. So this is all about the simple uh, small signal analysis for the common source amplifier. So this is all about the simple event. In the next video, I will try to make a numerical on this concept. So thank you for watching this video.